Hey guys, welcome back. Hey. Guess who I have again? I'm back again. Thank God. So we have this place called Costas, and then we'll do a prayer. Costas in Pompano, Deerfield, Pompano. Amazing food. Very Greek, very authentic. First we have gorgonzola and spinach pizza. Everything's homemade. Pita bread with some tzatziki sauce, some pepperoni pizza, and french fries. So there we go. Okay, so we don't really have anything planned for today. We're just going to eat. Yes. How was your day? Good. Fine. How was your week? Oh, and she's at her new job. Oh, yes. I'm at my new job, guys. Is it nice? It is. Are we doing the prayer? No. Oh. <gasps> so, all right. So let me do the prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, <laughs> please forgive me for grabbing the pizza like that. Please bless our food as we're about to receive. Bless our families, our friends, and all of the families and friends of the viewers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. I said it twice, but you didn't quite hear me. Oh, did you? Yeah. I was like, that's the prayer. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> They're probably out there going, she said it twice. Prayer. Oh, yeah. That machine, what machine, that sound is the, mmm, what is it called? I don't remember right now. You power your tools, it's an air compressor. Mm. Oh, you guys, gorgonzola and spinach, and it is oily, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't like oily pizza. I do. Me too. It doesn't bother me. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is delicious. So, hope everyone's having a good Monday. We taped a little late today, but that's okay. Um. Day after tomorrow, my Wednesday video, which is coming back over. And we are, in fact, doing the pudding eating contest. Super excited. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, yes. I've thought about what this is going to look like. Oh, by the way, since I'm eating spinach pizza, is there any in my teeth? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not going to smile at the camera right now. I'm just going to eat my pizza. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad that you are a friend that eats mayonnaise and ketchup with their fries. I know a lot of Hispanic people eat their fries with mayonnaise and ketchup. Really? I didn't know that. I have no idea. Um, if any of you out there are in this area, you must try Costa's. Definitely. It's Amazing. one of my favorite places. And yeah, they have too. lunch specials. Their food is so good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Uh, the owner and his beautiful sidekick are there all the time. I think they're closed on Mondays, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll go ahead and list it down below. But, you know, I hate to lift it as a hole in the wall, but that's what they call them. It's one of those diners that you just pass by because it's small and kind of, well, let me tell you something. If you pass up on Costa's, you're passing up on a good thing. Mm -hmm. We have our birthday parties there. They have big fat Greek weddings there. They're just amazing. And Costa himself is amazing. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> I got two pieces so you could at least try the other one if you wanted to. Okay. It's really good. And he makes all this homemade. This tzatziki sauce is so delicious. Mmm. A lot of garlic. Like usually, I'm serious. After we 
do costas, I'll eat a, a whole pan of that in tzatziki. And Neil doesn't want me in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He it's said too it much. reeks like garlic, yeah. But what am I supposed to do? And he's not a garlic lover. But, I don't know. There's a lot of garlic in that. The more the better, right? And we have oh, some Zephyr Hills spring water. So satisfying. I'm glad I waited for dinner. Mm. Everything's so good. Yeah. Never disappointed at Costa's. Like I said, we always have Libby's birthday there. And the cool thing is, we go there for a birthday or a wedding or any kind of party. You know how Greeks throw dishes on the floor? They'll do that for you for your birthday. It's so cool. I think I got ketchup on me. So, everything at your new job, A1. Everybody's very nice. I'm really liking it. So happy I'm there. That's important. <clears throat> That's very important because I know I've had jobs where you dread. Mm -hmm. I've even had a job on a phone from home that I dreaded the manager. The manager. <clears throat> Whenever I saw the phone light. Light up that he was calling? Yeah, she. Oh, she. Yeah, it was horrible. Everybody felt the same way. Nobody said anything. But it's nice to be in a good situation. So do you like that mayo, by the way? Yes. That's good. <clears throat> so I hadn't eaten mayo for close to 25 years. Um, I had no idea they made it without eggs. No idea. Someone told me. I tried it. And <clears throat> this was only about six months ago. I just, I don't know. I'm squeamish when it comes to raw eggs. I can't do it. Me neither. When I was a kid, I was okay. But there's raw eggs and real mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that. And then when I found out, mind over matter. And that was me. I couldn't do it. First time I learned about this stuff, I made egg salad sandwiches. I put it on. I slathered week. it on my hot dogs, my hamburgers. I even dipped my steak in it that week. I mean, I went nuts. But it's it's a good thing. I said, look at that. Look how fat that is. Isn't that wild? He definitely doesn't skimp on the ingredients. Never. So, <clears throat> who do you think is going to win the pudding contest? Seriously, be honest. Me. What do you think? Because you're going to be too busy laughing at, at me to actually beat me. That might be true. I think I'm going to win, guys. So, to make it fair, Chris, mm -hmm. we're going to put the weight scale. Weight each one to make sure they're exactly the same. And then... And then we're going to eat. I'm going to allow us to pick up the dish with our hands. So, with no spoons, but we can pick up the dish. Okay. And just oh, go to okay. town. However much you can eat. And remember, I said in my last video, they told me five minutes was too long. I'm thinking, yeah. I can do it for five minutes. No... I still think I could finish most of it. We will see. Yes, we will. <clears throat> when I was a little girl, mm -hmm. I used to take all the pepperoni off, pile it, and put it aside, and then eat it at the end. 
Are you serious? Yeah, well, Chris did something like that. It was fun to save it for the end. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cute. Well, Christopher, when he was young, my oldest son, he's 22 now. He was only like four years old. We got a big, large pepperoni pizza from Big Louie's or something. And you know how big they are. They're like 20-something like inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we had like three slices out of it that night because we had ordered it late. We put it in the fridge. And the next morning, I don't know when he snuck out of bed, there was no pepperoni, so it was a cheese pizza. It was just a cheese pizza left in the fridge. He ate every freaking pepperoni off that pizza. And when I asked him, he was like, mm -mm, I didn't do it. I'm like, well, then how did it happen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, my God. So he was our pepperoni bandit from then on. I apologize for getting ketchup and mayo on that, but I would love for you to take one bite if you want to. You don't have to. Rip off a little piece for me from the end. A little piece. Do you like spinach? Yes, I do. Oh, I, I think you're going to love this. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Gorgon's old cheese is a little rich, but it's You like the cheese itself? Yeah. A lot it's of people good. don't like it. I love gorgonzola. I had never tried it. No. It's strong, but once you like it, you never stop. Mm. So. Mm. Also, how's the car running? The new car. I it's love great. the new car. I love it. Mm. Good new car and new job. Okay. Need the job to keep the car, so we got it. Uh huh. I don't know what that's like. Hmm. Feels so good to relax and eat. What, um, <clears throat> when's your birthday? August 27th. That's right. It just passed. And I got her manicure. Which I love. This will take for old. It's actually, I'll name that place too. They're in Lighthouse Point, Florida here. That's Body and Soul. And, uh. They're very nice. They're amazing there. Mm hmm. Kristen is the owner. They always welcome you. As soon as you walk in the door, you just feel comfortable. They're so friendly. Mm-hmm. It's very, would you say zen? Peaceful and... They even have a meditation room. Mm. So whenever <clears throat> Livy's getting her stuff done, or my sister, I go in the meditation room. It's got candles and a little Buddha doll. Really? Mm-hmm. You've never seen it? I have to show, have them show it to you. You could just sit there and meditate or relax, whatever. It's nice. I didn't know that. <clears throat> That's so cool. Yep. This is a lot of spinach. I mean, look how heavy that is. That's big pizza. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people that don't eat the crust. Why? I don't know. I don't understand why people leave the crust. If behind. I was only left with the crust, I would be happy. Really? Mm hmm. I love the crust. Me too. I love it like this because it's homemade and it's crispy. I can't say enough about Costa's. I love that place. Neil and I just happened to go in there one night, um, about five years ago. Um, as soon as you walk in, he welcomes you really loud. Sometimes he even has a beer in his hand when he's cooking. <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. Mm. 
gosh. <clears throat> get to me too, but I want a piece of bread. I could eat this stuff forever. Um, would you feel like dipping in your finger and grabbing that lemon? You want me to grab it for you? Yeah. You could even squeeze it if you wanted. You want me to? If you don't mind getting dirty. <laughs> That's why I don't want to do it. Hold on, it's going to get on your pizza. Oh, I don't care. That's good. Okay. Thank you. You want me to put it in here? Sure. I put it on half. Mm-hmm. Do I throw it back in there? Mm-hmm. I'll put it up here. I usually chew on it later. You know, they have this thing going on on <clears throat> YouTube right now. Mm-hmm. You have to eat, like... I don't know how many limes. Just like slice them up and eat them and dip them in salt. And that's it. I don't think I can do that. I can do it. You could? Mm hmm. It sounds like a taken challenge. Hispanic people, a lot of people that I know, they'll dip it in the chili powder, the tahine. Have you mm -hmm. ever heard of it? Mm hmm. And they'll eat them like that. And they'll drink their beer, of course. <clears throat> So that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure I could do it if it's just salt and, li and lemons, right? Yeah, salt and lemons or limes. Oops. Um, I could do it. Challenge accepted. Okay. I might have it next time you come over. Okay. I don't think I could. There's another woman that I saw. She literally, she took the lemon and she rolled it in her hands. Mm-hmm until it was soft, kept rolling it. I wonder why she's doing that, she's going to do the challenge. She bit right through the skin, she ate the entire lemon. Mm. Bite by bite, just like an apple. No, that I can't do. It's too much. Excuse me, my mouth was watering just watching her, like... I feel like the skin is what gives it, like, the sour mm -hmm. tartness to it. She said so she's been doing it for years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Mm. It tastes so good. Mm. I could be full, but still eat that bread. I know, right? You could just keep going. That's it's true. addicting. I'm surprised we haven't heard any screaming outside. My husband's still working on the truck. <laughs> that poor guy. Listen, any of you out there that have husbands or wives or whoever that needs a rear main seal done, don't do it yourself. We found out after a week of being at his job all day, coming home and then working on the truck a bit, all this hard work. Oh, and then today he had to drop the transmission down, so I had to like... He has this jack with a long handle and I had to, you know, like turn it so it lowered it. Mm -hmm. After all this painstaking work, we found out it would be $300 to get it done at a mechanic. Yeah. He was mad. Like, I had no idea. Wow. $300. By the time he's done with it, breaking one or two things. There's going to be more than that. Oh. Mm. Next time. Well, you made my Monday enjoyable. Thank you. I you always, always make my days enjoyable. Oh, thank you. I feel the same way. I think I met an angel here. Mm. So, Wednesday, the we're for sure challenge. doing the pudding challenge. Do you think she's going to win? I am. And I'm not holding mercy on her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chow. All right. We will see. Okay. So guys, I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your Monday and Tuesday. And we will see you Wednesday. Yep. See you guys then. Bye. Bye.